Councilman Lindsay, members of the council, John Hansen, 40 plus year resident of Yorba Linda. Did not plan on speaking again tonight, but uh, one of the other people in public comments got up and brought a topic before you, which is probably not supposedly in your purview, but so I'll address those comments. First of all, Mayor Lindsay, you were concerned about one citizen's water usage, just so you know, the Hansen family, even though we added five people to our household since 2013, we cut our water usage by 41% for the month. And our great reward for that was still we got a penalty. How many, el how many el other people in this city have cut their water by that 36, 38, 40% and have opened that bill just to find that they've got their block penalty surprised by the water district? The speak one of the public comment speakers who brought this topic before you tonight, which brought me before you now, talked about a budget workshop today at two o'clock. Man, I wish I could go to a budget workshop at two o'clock in the afternoon, but doggone it, I'm out working, paying for my mortgage and paying for my high, high water bills, and my increased taxes and things that are gonna take place as well. Because I would have asked a few questions of that water district. One of them would have been, how did their December 2015 water expenses increase by 34% over their October 2015 water expenses, especially given the fact that in October, we citizens could water two days a week, but as of, as of November 1, we got cut back to one week, day a week of watering our, our landscape at our residences. Something's funny with the math at the water district when you have a 36% increase in their water expense in December while the citizens have cut back their watering at their residences by 50%. Again, I don't think members of this council want to go ask those hard questions. Also, I'd ask the question, wow, you're project you projected all these losses that you were gonna have. Well, thanks to your block penalties and your higher fees, you guys are ra they're raking in the bucks. Since the, the, since the increased fees went into effect October 1, they're averaging a little bit over a million dollars a month in net profit. Do the math, folks, 24,000 residences, that's about $42, $43 per house in net profit that this water district is raking in every month. So that $25 increase that was crucial for their survival, really you take the $25 out, they were still gonna be making about $17, $18 a month in profit. So yes, I would have liked to have joined Ms. Schultz at that budget meeting to ask some of those questions because you know what? The math just is not adding up. Thank you.